Hi, this is AJ and I am doing a quick product review on Aussie Moist versus the John Frieda Full Repair Hair Care Line. I was able to get this large bottle from Dominix for about $3 because they were going out of business. Uh, and I saw a few other reviews that said that, you know, this keeps your hair pretty moisturized. The shampoo is a very creamy um, consistency, so I felt like I was moisturizing my hair while I shampooed it. Um, the conditioner has a lot of slip. I noticed other reviews said it had a lot of slip, and I had to try it for myself. It's an extreme amount of slip. Um, last year, from July until January, I decided to transition. I wanted to go natural, and then by January, I was just like, forget it. Um, now I'm trying to do it again. I have been transitioning since October. It's December, I don't know, 12th or 13th, something like that. So I'm going to try it again with my Aussie Moist. I feel like I'll have a better hang of transitioning now. This is their deep conditioner. The deep conditioner was a little bit smaller, so I did get two of them. This is really, really thick and creamy. You know what I should have done? I should have got a little plate to show you this, but it's really... I'll show you. I'll put it a little bit on the table. I don't want to waste it, but I got so much at such a good deal. I can show you. Look how thick that it is. It is it coming out? Okay. Ooh, came out. I'm gonna have to condition something, and I'm wasting my stuff. But look how thick and creamy this deep conditioner is. Very nice. Very nice. I like that a whole lot. Okay. Then we have. Now what am I going to do? Got to get off my hands. Okay. All right. We have the John Frieda Full Repair Hair Care Line. I have been using this for about six months now. I love it. I absolutely love this. I love this. It, it's about... Most of the places I see it, it's about $7, 7 to $8 a bottle. And with the conditioner, the deep conditioner being smaller, but still about the same. They both have silicone in them I know some people are against that I like it I it, it's not a problem my hair hasn't been dry hasn't really been breaking uh, when I do notice a little bit of breakage what I do is I use a reconstructor a reconstructor in my opinion is kind of like a, a light version of a protein treatment so it's not as hard not as harsh on your hair. It doesn't make your hair feel all like straw. But it does make it dry. It does make it stronger. So I really like this by Mazzani. I use that maybe once a week. But with it being winter, I notice it's drying my hair out a little bit more. So I'll try to use this every other week. Every single time I wash my hair, I deep condition. Now here are some vitamins I got. I noticed that my iron was a little bit low. So I got this liquid B complex and I used to take the pills, but I'm noticing that the liquid complex works a little bit better and I noticed growth in my nails. You, you can tell if a vitamin is working by looking at your nails. My nails, I have a vitamin deficiency um, and I noticed that, I wish that was a little bit clearer for you, but the white part of my nails are usually clear. So that's how I know that I'm, I'm missing vitamins. When that white tip of your nail actually turns white, then you know you're good. So this is working pretty good, but it just has just has the B vitamins. Can you see that? There you go, it's focused. Just has the B vitamins and iron, but I need more than that. I want a multivitamin, so I decided to get a liquid multivitamin. This is about $20 at a health food store I go to. It's 20 to $24. I can't remember how much, but I know it, it costs a lot. Now this will last me about two months, so $12 a month on vitamins that I need anyway. It's not bad. And this is an, um, a natural vegetarian vitamin. Let me show you what vitamins it has in here. Here we go. Let me wait until this focuses a little bit better. Is it going to? It did. Okay. I hope you can see that. I'm trying not to shake too much. But, you know, it's got the A, C, D, and E. And it's got a little bit of B vitamins too. So... The B vitamin that I'm taking recommends that I take like a teaspoonful, but the concentration of vitamins is so much. Like I did another video on that and you will see that I, when I first took it, I was up 
for almost like 24 hours and I just kept I was cleaning the house and I was cooking I had energy for my kids and I was so unaccustomed to having so much energy that it, it scared me a little bit but that that wore off after a few days and it kind of leveled off so I wasn't you know consistently up every time I took it but you never want to overdo it on vitamins this you're supposed to take a capful so I will take a capful of this and maybe like half a teaspoon of this but I, I really like this I like this a whole lot and let me turn around I don't have it on any makeup so I don't want to scare you because I got a big old red pimple but here I am do, do, do. I just washed my hair with the Aussie Moist last night. I normally let my hair air dry, but it was nighttime. It's winter. I don't like, you know, letting it air dry 